Harley's packing some heat. Here's your look at the Diamond Select Batman the Animated Series Premiere Collection Harley Quinn Resin Statue. Psychiatrist Dr. Harley and Quinzel took a position at Arkham Asylum in order to write a tell-all book about its famous criminal inmates. When the Joker took an interest in her, she fell under his thrall, confessing her love for the Clown Prince of Crime. It was then that the doctor made her fateful decision, breaking her pudding out of Arkham Asylum in order to be with him forever. Since that day, Harleen Quinn, Harley Quinn has assisted the Joker in some of his most insidious schemes, often using her master of disguise to fool their Target, the police, and even Batman himself, and has even spent some time as a guest at her former workplace. This resin statue of Harley Quinn is based on her appearance on Batman the Animated Series. It was hand sculpted by Claiborne Moore, and this edition is limited to only 3,000 pieces. I suppose the first thing we'll do is figure out how tall Harley Quinn is. I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking, well, you're, you passed right by her head. Where are you going with the Ultra Megatron 5000? I'm glad you asked that question. Random viewer at the back of the audience. Um, I actually measured it to the very top right there. Measured it right there because that is technically the highest point on the statue. The Ultra Megatron tells us that the statue stands 11.2 inches in height. Somebody else yells in the audience, what about centimeters? Well, centimeters to that individual is 28.6, almost 29 centimeters tall. The statue, let me go ahead and grab that. I'll grab that for you. This statue comes with a certificate of authenticity indicating that this is an authentic Diamond Select Toys Batman the Animated Series Premier Collection Harley Quinn resin statue sculpted by Claiborne Moore. <gasps> Indicated down below, out of 3,000, you probably would see that there's an artist proof. This was provided from the folks over at Diamond Select, allowing me the opportunity to showcase this to you as a possible piece you may want to add to your existing Harley Quinn collection. That is why it says artist proof. Know, though, that when you do pick this up for yourself, a number out of 3,000 and no greater than 3,000 would be shown right here, out of 3,000. Down below we have Diamond Select along with their website www.diamondselecttoys.com Examining the statue, she does come up perched atop of a triangle, a diamond shape, not quite, a, two triangles connected together that makes a diamond. That's basic primary shapes, you'll learn that in public school or whatever school you go to. Uh, underneath, though, is the artist proof, once again, out of the 3,000 copies. You're also treated immediately to four felt feet, which are under, underneath the two attached triangles. Diamond! Diamond-shaped display stand. A rather nice-looking display stand. It's of a more slightly darker shade of red, almost kind of closer to really like a dark cranberry. I like cranberry juice, by the way. The shapes are identical to one another, of course, offsetting colors of black to the red. The red, however, does get smaller versions, almost little baby versions of themselves, 
a small family of four, perhaps a mother, perhaps a father, and I guess five kids of smaller diamond shaped variety. That same color also carries over to the rest of the figure. I will say though that the coloring that they went with for Harley Quinn, now granted, of course I have to specify that the statue again is artist proof, so the coloring may be a little slightly, slightly different than one of the ones that you may perhaps be seeing in the stores. Basing it on the one that I'm currently looking at, I do think that the shade of red is slightly dark. I guess it's not too bad because it does complement a rather bright portrait of her face here, but it is a really dark, dark red. Maybe if they had just brought the slight shade one shade higher, made it a little bit lighter of a red, but I mean, really, all the elements of a Batman animated series Harley Quinn is definitely noted here. She's a very small statue. I don't know if that, well, we've already looked at how tall the statue is. If you know something that's roughly about that size, check it out. Have a look at it in your home. Maybe this is the size of how tall a toaster oven is in your house. Maybe it's the size of a pitcher of a glass of water, a pitcher of water, if you will. Um, it is a slightly smaller statue, but again, I really do like the design elements to it. We'll have a look at her face and we'll work our way down. The face is really nicely presented. Smug or cocky would be a good way to describe perhaps the expression that they've decided to give the face here for Harley Quinn. I kind of like the expression actually. I say slightly smug, more so because her eyes are slightly more closed. It kind of seems like she's being playful, seductive perhaps as well, which may lend itself a little bit to the way that the, the statue is standing. That slightly bent knee, for, for example, right here. One straight leg kind of commands the strength of where she's kind of posed against, but most of the weight is probably uh, situated here at the back of her foot. I really do like the flow and I love, again, the statue's shape, like just the like the overall flow and sculpt of her form. Uh, we talk a little bit about her weapon of choice here. It's not really a conventional Harley Quinn weapon. Normally when you see a figure or any rendition of Harley Quinn, you normally expect a little pop cap gun. Here instead, it's actually been replaced to something that looks almost more, kind of looks like something you would see on a construction site. I'm kind of finding myself struggling trying to figure out what exactly this is. On some elements, obviously, it's not a real working gun because you can see that right here, the rat-a-tat-tat maybe has given it away that this isn't a really functional weapon. But it does look like something that she would have taken from a construction site, something that would have had pistons to it. Um, it's neat because we don't normally see something like this attached with Harley Quinn's hand. Normally, again, you go back to the tried and true ever go-to cap gun. I'm sort of just describing it here by drawing it out with my hand in imaginary space right there. It's got some nice coloring of orange. Again, the red or the black right there as well. Different colors that you wouldn't normally see here. It's nice that it's kind of draws your attention away from Harley Quinn, but it also complements the whole statue as a whole. Um, one thing though is if you see here, gone is bang. Normally something you would expect to find shooting out, if not a bullet. Normally in the hands of Joker, a gun would be shooting out saying bang. Here instead, it's been replaced with rat-a-tat-tat, or rat-tat-tat. I'm adding an extra ta with the rat-tat-tat. The rat-tat-tat has been done here in cardboard. I suppose they could have used the same material that they used for the rest of the statue. It could have been also something that would have caused brittling, uh, a brittling piece down the road. Paper is good, but the only problem is right at the top, you can kind of start seeing where the stress on the paper has started to develop. This could cause rippage down the, down the way. And if you don't certainly want rippage down the road, be careful that you don't actually snag this. It's really only attached by the end of the pin and it's attached then to the kind of little cylinder that slid out from the end of the, the barrel here. Like the weapon. I didn't think I liked the weapon, but ironically enough, I like the weapon as a different mix of what we normally would expect to find with Harley Quinn. Paint is really done well for this being an artist proof. I did notice though, at the very top, there's a slightly more shinier bit of black paint that's been applied to the shoulder. This black paint is nowhere else on the figure, more or less, it's, I best describe this as maybe like a satin finish, a satin smooth finish to the overall body. 
The shoulder is the only area where it looks like some extra black paint has been added. Again, I want to stress this, it's not going to be on every single statue, but I'm just mentioning it here on mine. Nice added additional black wash has been dry brushed or wet brushed over top of the little ruffled sleeves that are on the cuffs of the sleeves are at the bottom of her, of her, of course, Harley Quinn outfit. I'm really, again, digging the head sculpt. This is probably one of my favorite of the Harley Quinns that Diamond Select has released. There's a couple of ones, of course, we have had a look at on this channel before. Some slightly tweak to the overall design of Harley Quinn. This one kind of looks a little bit closer to the Harley Quinn that we looked at that had the little ruby choker. Similar head sculpt, that one showed a little bit more of a smile. Again, I really like this one because it's got like a slight seductive, slightly a little bit more kind of cocky look to her face again and the pose is spectacular on this it's a little bit smaller than say some of the other harley quinn statues that we've looked at but i think it's a good size especially for the fact that because because the gun the gun that she is holding in her current hand because that sticks out a little bit further um, i think even though she is slightly smaller because you have to factor that in, gives you a much bigger statue overall. And again, really liking the way that they've done Harley Quinn right here. You know, by far, one of my favorite things about this statue I like so much is the pose that they put Harley Quinn in. I know we talked about it over the course of this review, but it's probably worth mentioning again here in Final Looks. As I look at this statue, two scenarios play out for me. One of which is she's standing over top of, say, the likes of a Batgirl, a Robin, or maybe Nightwing. She's standing over top of them, showcasing her new weapon of choice. Or, I feel as if she's almost just picked this up. Maybe it was just arrived in the mail. Maybe she had had it ordered, and it finally showed up, and she's showing it off to Joker. Joker's in the background, and Joker says, pose Harley, and he takes a snapshot of her with her new weapon of choice. See, that's how imagination works. It can be a wonderful thing if you make use of it. But it's sort of fun elements to look at a statue and sort of imagine, if you will, what is the reasoning, Why is this, what is the story that's behind the pose that they've currently got her in. That's the scenarios I've played out. What do you think is the reasoning that Harlequin is posed like this? I was like reading your comments down below. Good news, though. Good news, my friends. Friends of the interweb. If you guys are interested in picking up this one for yourself, the Batman animated series premiere collection Harley Quinn should be available now in comic book stores. I can't stress this enough, though. Limited to 3,000 pieces and 3,000 pieces only. Harley Quinn, I'm sure, is a case where she's probably going to sell out. And unlike some of the other figures that Diamond Select re-released, I don't think there's often at times there's examples where they re-release statues. So there's a good chance that when she does sell out at 3,000 pieces, they're probably not going to re-release her unless they re-release her with a different paint scheme. Could always go the route of a grayscale, just FYI. Either way, though, today we were having a look at the, the very new, very cool Diamond Select Batman the Animated Series Premier Collection Harley Quinn Resin Statue which, again, I should be available at local comic book stores right now. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Diamond Select statue reviews, somebody's yelling, you have a playlist for it? I have a playlist for it. You can check that out and watch at your viewing pleasure. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, because certainly also more videos will be coming your way. We're going to have a look at some other Diamond Select goodies that you can currently find at your local comic book stores and retail stores. So stay tuned, my buckos. More videos will be coming your way. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.